Welcome back, Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Let's talk about Symbiote Spider-Man from Peter David and Greg Land. This came out last year or the year before. Whenever Far From Home was about to come out. <laughs> That's when this came out. Why? Well, look, it's Mysterio. Ooh. And there's no good collection of Mysterio stories for Marvel oh, to put on the weird. shelf and make available. <laughs> oh. So here's a retcon story that takes place during one of Peter David's stints on Spider-Man, which happened to be in the 80s uh, and features the symbiote suit. So the idea here is there's a number of things that Marvel's trying to this check like off. A, this is like a set in the past book? Yes, it's a brand new story set 30 years ago, but of course in Marvel sliding time scale, that means it was like five four years and ago. a half years ago? <laughs> No, five what years ago. You divide by six. <laughs> right? Is it dog years? I don't understand. <laughs> well, no, because we know five years ago was when the Clone Saga happened, and that was 1976. So, no. Whoa. We have a great catchphrase on the back that we can't sing. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a reference to a song, but it's slightly different lyrics, so it's weird. Yeah. No. Back, back to, to black. black is actually, well, it works really well because it's going back, like literally back in time right. to a story, to the black costume, and it doesn't infringe upon the back in black right. story arc from Straczynski in which Spider-Man actually, in real time, put on a black costume that was an approximation of the symbiote suit because Spider-Man 3 was coming out and he was gonna get the symbiote suit in the movie, right. and they needed an in-canon reason for him to wear that suit despite being married to Mary Jane and her having a aversion, aversion to the yeah. suit and its history and Matty Brock and everything, so... Look at this amazing Todd McFarlane variant. Yeah, I love that variant. I think it's dope. We actually have a... No, I, I don't. Yeah, at, at ToyCon one time, I found a jigsaw puzzle that was that cover. Yeah? Yeah. I didn't buy it. It mm. was like more than a dollar. Yeah. And that's about how much I'm willing to pay on a jigsaw puzzle at this point. It's like, how much are you willing to pay for a chore? It'd be like it'd be like paying you to do laundry. You say that about a video game. Yeah, but like a video game it's gives you a anything. power fantasy. You know, it's like you're, yeah. you're, 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 I'm Kratos, woo! Solving a puzzle gives you satisfaction uh, some kind of, satisfaction. of having completed the task. And we're hearing this from a person who <laughs> solves puzzles. Together puzzles. <laughs> Puzzles yeah. can be fun. That's yeah. the, I, I've never had fun doing a puzzle. I hate it. Yeah. I'd rather take a walk if I'm gonna like try and like. Well, yeah, if you're not good at it, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the shots are fired, but uh, the it shots is hunting are fired, season. But this is coming from someone who likes puzzles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So really, they, you know, well, except it doesn't work because we're not on the internet having this argument. <laughs> you see, right. I'm held to task for what yeah. I say. <laughs> Which is, I guess, just the real danger is you could kick my ass. Like, that's the only real yeah. reason for Yeah, any... you're right here. Yeah, exactly. Well, it could... no, it's that you're not anonymous. So right. So that there's You'll lasting never forget. repercussions. <laughs> and I said it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. On the internet, it's just like, uh, you'll never see me again. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Fuck you. <laughs> and even, if, even if you manage to find me on the internet, yeah. it's still the internet. Right. right. And it's still Noob Master 69. Right. It, not, the fallout won't extend beyond the digital realm right. into my real world. Yeah. You never know if the person you're tormenting online is also a psychopath exactly. in a different way and will hunt you Yo, down. You never know. You never know, though. You never know. Well, you see, and that's that's why the, our little our little spat, if you could call it that, uh, was so was so subdued because, like, you could tell. You could read the body language. Mm. Like, if, if your reaction was, like, if it was escalating, I'd right. be like, oh, I better oh, back oh, off. Oh. Or if it was, you were stoically, completely <laughs> okay with it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Puzzles are, you know, puzzles are dumb. I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna pull it back. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's great. Either way, it's it's the extremes, really. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how come my car's on fire outside? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes they combust. Yeah. It's full of gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> you look a little stressed. You might want to solve a puzzle. You might want to put together the puzzle of who burned your car down. <laughs> if you put together more puzzles, maybe you can figure it out. Here, I have one for you. It's just a puzzle of Ethan saying, I did it. <laughs> no, it's my car, like pre-burning. <laughs> like a few moments Where It's before. a picture of your car with me like pouring gasoline <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah, Symbiote Spider-Man is a retcon. And because it's written by a person who wrote Spider-Man back during the time they're setting this in, mm -hmm. It brilliantly works. Oh, okay, so it's not like someone just took a stab at it. No, no, they didn't just give it to anybody and right. go like... Someone who knew intimately... Yeah, that time. <laughs> what was going on. Actually, it's probably more 
appropriate to ask him because he probably remembers more about what happened to Spider-Man 30 years ago than the last five. So, you know, <laughs> if we're going to get Peter David to write Spider-Man, I think the only way to get him to do it is to have him write one from 35 <laughs> right. years ago. Like, right. He's not going to read. He's not going to read the, the last 20 years worth of Spider-Man books just to Peter, get caught up. Peter, we finally have a, a time for you to do a retcon story. <laughs> Oh, good. Well, according to Peter Davis, he's just shaking off dust. Yes, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> he's he's a prominent writer. He's, he's he occasionally will do. I some don't read him. No, you don't. Uh, what, well, we've done him a bunch of times on this channel, and he's 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 a good guy. Future. Imperfect. Yeah, I was gonna say did he do Hulk. He did a lot Hulk? of Hulk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he did some Spider Man. Something. He's done everything. He's he has a book called Writing Comics. Like he nah. he's written it all. Would and you he's say in, he's like a journeyman uh, comic writer? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say so. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of, any, any title? Yeah, any title you could put Peter David on and he'll do a good job. Hmm. You know, it won't be like an, oh my god. And, no, he, sometimes he does something like really cool. And then the rest of the time he does a pretty good story. That's yeah. like, and at the very least you can count on him to tell a story. Like, yeah. the way stories are structured. Right. You mean with the beginning, middle, and end. Yeah, yeah. with like arcs and character development yeah, building and action, stakes. Building action, following action. Exactly, denouement. Like, he puts that. them all in, yeah. in linear fashion, and at the end of the story, you don't feel like you just wasted your money. <laughs> so in any case, he must be one of the most prolific writers in all of comic books. Yeah. Uh, Symbiote Spider-Man was trying to check a lot of boxes, as I said. Uh, we're trying to get Spider-Man... Uh, most importantly, in the suit. In that, well, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, it's we gotta not, get Mysterio. The most important That's thing it, is yeah. getting a story right. on the shelves when Mysterio is in a theater with Mysterio on the cover. Right. And we did it. See, that's funny because you also have, like, in Far From Home. Far From Home? Yeah. 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 I was like, that's it. That's not the name homecoming. Of the movie, right? Yeah, that's the terrible name. There's for something that great about movie. home. There's a home yeah. in all the movie titles now. Yeah, they, they, yep. Could you drop that? Spider Man, European Vacation. Yeah, that's what it should have been called. Instead, yep. it's that Far awesome. From Home. No, no, that's a which, terrible which title. Which isn't don't... a term. Like, Far From Home? Yeah. Because he is, you see. Because he's far from home. And I'm... What? And I'm sad. Like, no, he's not. <laughs> he's really excited about that trip. I was going to say, it's because it, you got the Black Night Monkey suit. Yeah. And yeah. this, too. Yeah, he's the stealth suit. And uh, the, mm. the upgraded suit, which has black in the suit, along with red. But still not the symbiote suit, no. or even anything close to this. Yeah, no, the, the, the night monkey suit's more akin to the noir suit. Yeah. Mm. Which I think is Good why we suit. did that episode. Yeah, I think so. It's like, hey, night monkey looks like Spider-Man noir, which is the episode we're doing. Uh, this is, we're doing it for no reason, other than the fact that it came out recently, and uh, I kind of dug it. Yeah. It's just a fun story that, like... From a time when Peter was like married and happy. He was not married. He was No, it was before the marriage. It was before the marriage? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Pretty shortly before the marriage, okay. but still, it was during a period where Peter was, he had dropped out of graduate school, and Aunt May's really mad at him and thinks he's throwing his life away uh, because yeah. he's not in graduate school. Right. <laughs> at that time? He has a bachelor's yep. in the early 80s. Yeah, He'll the, be world fine. Is, the world is his oyster. Yeah, exactly. In science, no less. Yeah. What are you going to do with that? Without Anything. A, without a master's degree. I'll work at the university. I'll work in a lab. I'll work in research and development. I'll parlay it into a computer science degree. Like, not anything. Well, now you can get your PhD and become an intern. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Peter's in graduate school at this time. He's shtupping the black cat. And it, because Peter David, like, wrote during that time and paid attention to Spider-Man 35 years ago... He, like, remembers all these different plot points that would be completely ignored by anyone writing Spider-Man <laughs> at this point right now. Right. Even people who purport to be fans of that era. Mm -hmm. I've like, seen yeah, but I don't forget wanna, those uh, things. I don't want to entangle him in all that stuff. I don't yeah. remember that well. Well, and I don't... Like, the fact is... I'm not going to go back well, and, like, read... He was write. the one creating the story, right? Yeah, well, he wrote... Some he, of them. Some of them. He didn't yeah. write the whole period. No. But he was writing one of the Spider-Man titles at the time. So, in Symbiote Spider-Man... They're like, okay, bring up the symbiote. Because at that point also, there was an event going on in 2019 called Absolute Carnage, which dealt with all the symbiotes. Mm. So we got to get the symbiote in there. Also, Mysterio. That's really it. <laughs> and you know what? It checks both boxes beautifully. Yeah. And, and I really appreciate that there is no reference to the god of symbiotes. Uh, so, yeah. you know, you just get a, a kind of neat story that also plays with the symbiote angle. Because, of course, during the period that this is set in... 
they didn't know anything about that stupid symbiote except right. that it was alive and that maybe they might want to do something with it after it's on Spider-Man. Like, right. that's it. Okay. It, it wasn't, it didn't augment his strength. It didn't tap his adrenaline. The only things that it did were it made webbing organically. It mirrored whatever clothing he wanted to wear. And it was vulnerable to sonics and fire. Plus, it would go on him while he was asleep. Yeah, and, and take him out. Take him out, puppeteer him. sleeping. Exactly. Yeah. And that, that is really played up in this. Okay. But now, odd question. If he's that. wearing the suit, yes. does the suit go into him? Like, can it disappear if he wants to be naked? Yes. Oh. Or does it just, right, does like, it just go tra- off? So uh, it, like, dissolves into his skin? Right, when he, when he, like, let's say he wants to have sex with Black Cat. Yeah. He just tells it to go on the chair. When he's done with his suit, when he's done Spider-Manning, uh. at the end of the day, like, when he's done for the night and he goes to bed, he just, in his thoughts... Wants it to get off of him, and then it goes, and it actually just sits on his. Okay, on so his it does chair. physically remove okay. itself. It does remove itself. Body. When okay. he's walking around day to day, he makes the suit wear, like, turn into clothing. Right, yeah. and so, that makes sense. I can understand that. Yeah, 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 but but yeah, when he doesn't, when he needs to take a shower or have sex or go to sleep, at least for in his mind, he tells it to go away, and it goes off of him. All right, it wasn't like he's going to sleep and he's just be like, "Now be PJs." Right. So no, he does always <laughs> wear boxers because, of course. When he would have to ditch the suit, uh, we can't draw a naked Spider-Man, so he's wearing boxers. Yeah. And they would carry that over when Eddie Brock, of course, was Venom, because if you were to, to, to defeat Venom, you never defeat Venom and also don't, like, knock out the symbiote, therefore making it get off of Eddie right. Brock, so he can't also be naked, so we got to give him boxers, too. Plus, like, mm-hmm. if you're wearing a living suit, have a little bit of a barrier with your private. I man. agree. <laughs> well, but, especially if it's, like, in love with you and has, like, boundary issues. But Eddie and the symbiote have like a very much uh, more intimate affair, you might say. Mm-hmm. So Eddie would be the one to freeball it, definitely, and in fact does sometimes. Uh, Cletus Cassidy also freeballs it with uh, with with Carnage. Although nowadays their physical interaction is like it's almost he is the suit. It isn't even almost right. Like Car- like Cletus was ripped in half by the century and right. didn't die, and like. He is a physical nightmare. It's a whole new level. Yes. <laughs> In fact, with him, it's not even us, it's I. Yeah, exactly. That's the crazy Yeah, Carnage part. never said we. Mm. But neither did Peter. <laughs> and of course, in this book, Peter is still refusing to acknowledge that the suit is a living being that he needs to deal with. Right. Uh, which is interesting because Peter David says that the suit is influencing his judgment. Because the suit and he communicate telepathically, mm-hmm. though Peter doesn't know that it's a living being that he is communicating with. He just thinks that it's like a future alien piece of technology from right, that the Beyonder planet. Thoughts. That can read yeah. his thoughts. It's like AI or something, but it's yeah, not right. like but he's, but he's never checked it out enough yeah. to figure it out. That the reason why he wouldn't think that it was alive and hasn't tried to purge it immediately is because the suit is... Like influencing him, making him dim-witted enough to not right. worry yeah. about it. Because when he introduces it to Black Cat, she's like, "That's alive. That's a living creature you're wearing." <laughs> I can see it's moving around and stuff. Right, and he's like, "No." It smiled at me. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, no. She she's literally like, "It's alive," and he's like, "No, it's just it's just you, it's you just see, so advanced that you technology. think it's magic yeah. or alive." Yeah, he's the Thor defense. Yeah, and she's oh, like, silly so Black Cat." Right. You, <laughs> Pat, Pat. She she is like. <laughs> Whatever. Like, I don't sure. even care. Yeah. Why am I even arguing with you about it? Yeah. That would, that would imply that I give a shit. <laughs> so, that's the period of time. Aunt May and Peter are kind of on the outs, and Pete and Black Cat have, like, a physical relationship. Okay. Also, he's wearing the symbiote suit. Uh, so, Spider-Man is defeating Mysterio in the opening of the story, as he is wont to do in every single Mysterio story he's ever had. Uh, again, we're trying to like put Mysterio on the map, make him have more dignity, though <laughs> Peter David doesn't have any respect for him anyway, so he's like, hey, let's make fun of Mysterio, and ha- let's have him lose all the time. So Mysterio's getting his head caved in by Spider-Man, and his internal monologue is essentially like, I'm a failure, I should have quit, why is this happening to me? And mm-hmm. Spider-Man's like, come on, like, get up. So then he kicks the crap out of him in oh, his... Are you telling him to get up so he can punch him some more? Yeah, because Peter's oh. kind of a jerk sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so Peter's kicking the crap out of Mysterio in his office or his like lair, 
And in his lair, we all allude... studio cell. Thank you. In his <laughs> studio. And uh, in his studio, P Quentin Beck, a.k.a. Mysterio, has a convenient narrative photograph of himself with a heretofore never referenced character named mm. Johnny who went to MIT with Quentin Beck. Okay. And then we establish that Quentin and Johnny meet sometimes for drinks and that Johnny and Quentin both after MIT used their intelligence and skills to aid them in a life of crime. Mysterio went the super powered, ridiculous, uh, costumed criminal angle, whereas Johnny went to work for the Kingpin. Quentin and Johnny are talking. Johnny's talking about how he's like, you got, you know, he's giving him like the yuppie conversation. You got to buy in. You, you do the costume thing. It's a waste. It's, you're going to banks. You're putting yourself too much out there. Mm. You know, you, because you're too much of a showman. You want to get the attention while also trying to reap the benefits of being a criminal. And that's just, it's never going to work that way. Right. If you With attention the comes heat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You have a brand and you're a criminal. That's never going to work. Right. They're always going to look for you. So Quentin says, y you got it all wrong. I've got a, a, a great scheme and it, it involves going into a bank and stealing the money out of the vault. And Johnny's like, didn't you like go to MIT? Like, aren't you a smart person? What's going on here? And he's like, no, no, no. Uh, like the, the problem is people, what, what, what my fellow costumed criminals do with the money. You see, I'm going to use it to buy a private island and vacation there. And Johnny's like, sure thing, good luck. So Mysterio goes to the bank. He, of course, like infiltrates it early because it is the 80s, maybe. Because like there's a sliding time scale. Mm. It's really hard to pin down what year this book takes place in. Because it was definitely the mid-80s in continuity. Right. But characters reference things like Batman 89 and Jurassic Park. I'm glad you mentioned right. Batman 89 because I just saw this scene. <laughs> yes, that Mysterio must have seen Batman 89 in an alternate reality where that movie came out six years earlier. Right. And he gives the cute teller a gas mask. Right. So he... With a sign that says, put this on. Yeah. So he knocks everybody out except for the young lady and she explains, like, please don't hurt me. I have a husband and a, and a, and a little daughter. And she's like, it's fine. You must obey me. And then I will be on my way. And so he's like, give me the, you know, give me everything in the vault. So she opens the vault for him. Mysterio goes in there. The security guard comes to, and he threatens to shoot Mysterio. And Mysterio is like, well, ha, but how can you shoot what isn't here? And like basically creates like an illusion so that when the security guard shoots at Mysterio, Mysterio is behind the security guard, hits the security guard. How? It's all smoke and mirrors and illusions. Maybe he was not even where the security oh, guard found that him. That was an illusion from the beginning. He was always behind him. Right. It's like, does he have super speed or something? No, he does not. Okay. He is. Ju he just has and smoke he, and mirrors. How he has does he smoke and mirrors. That illusion. He has. He has hard light construct technology. Oh. In his without the drones. Or? Without the drones. No, well, they right. didn't. They didn't know there were going to be drones yet because they didn't see the movie. They're just trying to capitalize on it. Yeah. No, no, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you can bet your bottom dollar that They'll after that, up. you'll see drones. So because of Mysterious Deception and his like smoke and mirrors game of moving, the security guard didn't know that the young teller was where Mysterio was standing. So the teller gets shot and she dies. Oh, shit. And Mysterio feels horrible about it. He's just in an alley like crying. Oh, oh wow. God. And This so isn't like she got shot and like... He has to save her. She no, just straight just up dies. Dead. Nope, she just dies. He screws up. Wow. And he feels bad about it. Like, he knows so he screwed this up. This is probably also why Spider-Man is being kind of a huge dick to him right now. Yes. Like, you got someone killed. Yeah, exactly. Get up, I'm going to punch you some more. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's yeah. really amazing. So yeah. then we cut to what Spider-Man is up to after the crime with the teller. Yeah. And Spider-Man is, uh, he's trying to recover some stolen art from a supervillain known as the Human Fly. The Human Fly <laughs> was a Len Wein creation, also from back in the day. I believe he was created in the 70s, but he's a holdover. Oh. Uh, he is gross. He's also one of those, like, J. Jonah Jameson created villains where, like, what? there was this period of time <laughs> where, like, they didn't care about trying to, like, make J. Jonah Jameson sympathetic. Okay. So, like, he created the Scorpion. What? Yeah, he, like, funded villainous organizations because he was just so obsessed with destroying Spider-Man. 
Oh my God. Because he's a menace. Yeah, he's a menace. I got to create a <laughs> scorpion to, to hunt the spider. He funded the Smythes and their Spider Slayer robots. And he helped fund the research and the, the science that was involved with the creation of the human fly, who uh, was just a dude from Jersey, by the way. The uh, whole point of you was to be a lore. You're supposed to bait him out because you're the fly and he's right. the spider. Yeah, I, I don't know what the uh, what the what the metaphor is here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, spider but I need the blue jay to come and gobble him up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so. Spider-Man just beats the human fly and then re, uh... Okay, the human fly literally spits acid. Yeah, no, he vomits acid. That's Ew. even worse. I agree. <laughs> yeah, he also like eats garbage for fuel and stuff. Like, <laughs> He's very much like- He really like does, Jeff... I'm not even joking. He's much like Jeff uh... Goldblum. Yeah, yeah, he is a human fly. Does he like, does he use the acid to like dissolve uh -huh. the food that he then sucks up yeah. through like a big straw thing? Well, I think he just consumes it. Ugh. He hasn't been Gross. used in a very long time, and I, I think at last check he was dead. Ah. So Peter David's like, hey, I'm gonna use the human fly! Oh, nobody else can use him unless you're back in time. So right. Let's... Why not? He's right. kind of fun. Yeah. I mean, like, he's gross. He flies, that's cool. Yeah. You so, never would be able to with wings that size as a human, but... So Spider-Man re recovers the scream. Oh. Wow, that's a... That's a pretty famous painting. I agree. Well, that, you know, of course, the fly, the human fly was trying to, Only you know, fence it. human fly. That's yeah. right, yeah. So he's out of the picture. Yeah. It's just a little fun, hey, here's Spider-Man going on an adventure. So Spider-Man's sleeping, and he is awoken by Felicia Hardy sneaking in through his window. Hmm. Back in the day, Felicia Hardy, as Black Cat, used to sneak through his window, but Spider-Man would be like, you gotta stop, because people are going to see you coming through my window, and they're going to put two and two together. Right. So now you're just a crazy blonde coming through my window. So That's fine. Her costume. No, That's she says worse. you complained that black cat is coming through window. It's uh, less conspicuous. He goes, uh, "This isn't a good time." <laughs> oh my god, she literally says that exact same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. He's like, "I got, I got plans today." She goes, "I'll come with you." He's like, "No, no, no. This is like, this is like Peter Parker stuff. You don't, you don't want to do that." Because of course, at that yeah, point, she's like, "Oh no." Yeah, she's like, "Peter Parker's gross," but she is trying to turn over a new leaf. In fact. Uh, she had just recently gone through surgery, thanks to the Kingpin, <laughs> right. to get bad luck powers and help right. Spider-Man in the field. Right. Which she did not tell him about. So that's another plot point from 35 years ago that Peter, that Peter David's playing with. Which Sweet. I think is cool, but also he's like, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'd love to see that surgery where they, they break a mirror and they put pieces in her. And like, <laughs> you pick up a bad penny and you implant that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just has bad luck charms. <laughs> embedded throughout her body. That's so gross. And the doctor's like, you want me to do this? And the Kingpin's like, money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you don't know that's okay. real though. It, but it works, so <laughs> you know, maybe. I don't know. You'd think an enchantment work would work fine, but yeah. anyway. So she says, listen, if you want me to like you out of that costume, you gotta let me in. Start. Yeah, He's like, go all right, show all right, me what right, it's like. All right, let's go. Peter let's Parker. go. Let's all go right. to the graveyard where but, I'm gonna go visit Uncle Ben. <laughs> but one oh. time, just come through the door. Right. Yeah. She's like, no, no. Okay, you can come with me, but you gotta go through the door. See, it's given a take. It's give and take. Right. You know, in a relationship. Please, this is hardly a relationship. <laughs> so, this he, is hardly a relationship. So Peter puts the symbiote on, or the symbiote goes on to Peter. Uh -huh. And she's like, oh my god, that thing just came to life and went over your body. He's like, no, 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 you don't understand. <laughs> no. it's, it's, it's alien technology from Battle World. She's like, it certainly is alien. It's cloth that reads your mind. He's like, yeah, then yeah. it's alive. <laughs> no. And he's like, no. So they have this back what are you talking about? And they go to the grave. I'm a scientist. I think I would know more right. than you. It can't be alive like, unless it eats. Right. She's like, speaking of which, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Yeah. Suddenly the master thief is a great scientist as well. Yeah, please. Please, enlighten me. You know, I have a, I, I, I have some old term papers. I want <laughs> you to just quiz me a little bit. Anyway, so they go to the graveyard, and uh, while they're there, he explains it's the anniversary of the death of Uncle Ben. Mm. I have to come here, pay my respects, and while he's there, he sees Quentin Beck is visiting a grave too. Mm. And he's like, that's Quentin Beck. It's Mysterio. He must be here looking for me. He must have figured out my identity. And she's like, that's a leap in logic. He's like, mm -hmm. well, I've got to go figure it out. So I'll be right back. So he leaves. Mm -hmm. And Felicia's like, thanks for ditching me. And while she's there, Aunt May shows up. Oh, of course. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Who's this floozy you're bringing around <laughs> Uncle Ben's grave? Aunt May 
and Felicia have very little interaction yeah. like throughout their history. So right. it was kind of cool that Peter David was like, I'm going to pay it. Here's their first interaction ever. And I'm like, that's kind of awesome. Yeah, neat. And because it's Peter David, it feels authentic. Like mm. it feels like it's from that time with the modern sensibilities of Peter David's like writing evolution. Mm -hmm. That being said, it is, it, is, it is drawn by Greg Land, so it is supremely disappointing. Mm. Thank you! Oh my god, I didn't want to just say it, but like yeah. the faces in this are not I'm not great. happy with the faces. Some of them are very flat. That's because they're traced. Some of them look really weird. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They will only get weirder as the deadlines get uh, tighter. Yeah. That being said, this book did come out on time, which is exactly why Greg Land got the job. Ah. Dude can produce, he can produce industry level quality mm -hmm. in a timely fashion. Because it doesn't matter if it's good as long as it's on time. Right. And it's Spider-Man, so it'll sell. Mm -hmm. And we all, we made this to tie in with the movie. It doesn't even matter. It's yeah. not. Con it's it's barely in continuity. But right. you're talking about now. This isn't like 20 years ago. No, I know. I st we still got deadlines, man. Yeah. So, Beck goes to his lair, and he dons his Mysterio costume, seemingly for the last time. The grave he was visiting was that of the teller. Right. And he feels such grief that he's like, maybe what I'll do is I will reveal myself as Mysterio. And then I will, like, you know... Hang my cape. Yeah, hang up my cape. And my fishbowl. And, and then I'll go to jail. Yeah, and I'll go to jail. I'm Mysterio. Right, exactly. He's going to go to jail? He's thinking about it. Wow. He's not. He has no, no. integrity. He's not going to really go to jail. He's just, no. he's just deluding himself and right. thinking he's going to do the right thing. Right, right. But, I mean, he does have, like, crazy good technology. He could create an, a special effects company. But uh, <laughs> Spider-Man shows up and smashes his face into a mirror. Yeah. And then fights him. And Mysterio's like, what the hell is your problem? And he's like, don't give me that. You figured out who I am and I'm going to kick your ass. Oh. And he's like, uh, he's like, that, that's, why you were at the, that's why you were at the graveyard, right? And while he's badgering uh, uh, Mysterio. Shut up, Spider-Man, you I, fucking idiot. He is an idiot, but like, uh. that's back then. He was very much impetuous back yeah. then. And, you figured out that you know. it was my Uncle Ben? Yeah. <laughs> He hasn't said that yet, Thank but uh, he's he, about to. But he, but he does think internally how he's like, it's weird that my spider sense isn't going off while I'm kicking the shit out of the supervillain. And uh, Mysterio's like, you're an yeah, asshole. I was not there for you. I was there for someone else. Like, who? Who in the graveyard do you care about? And he's you're like, you're a supervillain. You don't care about anything. And, Mis and Mysterio doesn't want to take the heat for oh, having for killed having that killed girl. Yeah. So he's like, I was visiting my dead sister, okay? And he's like, oh, shit. Oh, Mysterio, oh. I'm sorry. And he's like, not as sorry as you're going to be. And then he blows up the, the entire area. Uh. So Spider-Man barely survives with his life. Uh -huh. And Mysterio escapes. And he's like, Spider-Man never let me quit. Ah, now I'm mad. And it's personal. <sighs> this time. Yeah. It's personal. So Aunt May and Felicia have a back and forth because she's like, you can't possibly be with my nephew. Like, you are you are way a 12. out of his league. <laughs> Look, I love my nephew, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but but he is a six at best. Right. <laughs> Unless and he's, he's thinking about quitting graduate school. No, he, he, already he, quit, he already quit. If he goes back, maybe he's a seven. You, you know he's a grad school dropout, right? Like, she's trying to, like, ruin it with him. Yeah. No, she's not. She's yeah. just like, you're so lovely. And she's like, yeah, are you Peter's girlfriend? She's like, I'm his uh, girl. And she's, like, she's like, you're his lover, I understand. Uh, I, right. I'm hip. I'm with it. I was quite a thing back in the 20s. Yeah, like that... <laughs> That's, that, that is <laughs> what Felicia used to refer to herself as with Peter. Like, they were not boyfriend and girlfriend. They were right. lovers. Right. Let me ask you a question. Does Peter listen to you? Because he certainly doesn't listen to me. Yeah. And she's like, sometimes. And she goes, we'll try to get him to go back to graduate school. Would you please? And we'll she's like, go. I'll try. I don't give a crap about that, but sure. Right. That, I really didn't want to meet you. <laughs> like, she doesn't say that, but, like... I'm not trying to be part of things. Well, I am a little bit, I guess. Exa that's the yeah, thing. she's turning like, over a new leaf. She's one of those people who's like, I'm trying to keep it, you know, keep it physical, but, like, you are also a person, so am I. Right. And I can't help myself, but get wrapped up in your shit. Yeah. That's why she came yeah. here in the first place. Well, yeah. she... Yeah, and then... But she... But she... Okay, I'm here to meet up with your dead relative. Yeah. But, I like, wasn't expecting to meet up. A living relative, a much less the widow of, you know, it's yeah. a lot. It's a, it's a lot. Yeah. You know, we're not at Thanksgiving yet. We're at visiting graves right now. Yeah. There's very little commitment. Mm. But now we're here. And Felicia takes it in stride. Mm -hmm. You know, and she has this, like, very genuine and kind of, like, real conversation with Aunt May. More so than pretty much any girlfriend that Peter had had at that time. Mm. Which I kind of really appreciate. 
Because Felicia's he has also already dated Mary Jane at this point, right? Yeah, a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think actually this may or may not be when he proposed to Mary Jane. She said no, and then he got back with Felicia. I don't remember mm. like where it fits in continuity, but like. Right. Mary Jane and Aunt May have a very different relationship because, of course, Aunt May and Aunt Anna, Mary Jane's aunt, are right. friends. And so they have, like, this kind of, like, familiar relationship already. You know, Aunt May kind of sees Mary Jane as not, like, a daughter, but, you know, more of, like, they have, like, family. A, they have a familial relationship. Yeah. Whereas Felicia's like, this is a woman I've met. Like, we we don't have any prior history together. Yeah. And so, uh, and, and you also, don't see me like from when I was a child. Yeah, well, like you only know me as like sexy adult Felicia Hardy. You don't know me as like child Felicia, and I don't know you from from anyone. Yeah. And Felicia's also the kind of person who won't like mince words or pretend to be someone she isn't, mm. uh, unless she's pretending to be a black cat. But <laughs> that being said, they do have this genuine conversation, and she says, "It was really nice to meet you." And Aunt May's like, "Are you sure about that?" And she's like, it, "Yes." I am sure about that. Oh. Like, have a lovely day. And so Aunt May gets into a cab and she leaves. And uh, so Peter barely escapes with his life. He escapes and then he moves on. And uh, then we set up a new villain. Brand new villain, never been seen before. And Peter David's like, I'm writing for a Spider-Man from the 80s or 90s or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> In 2019? And so he's creating a character who absolutely would have been created during this time. Oh. I love it. He's a stuntman who's abnormally big and strong, who is also kind of a jackass. He was bullied when he was a kid mm -hmm. for his size, uh -huh. and then he used that and and created a career out of it as a like stuntman who could take a, a big beating. Mm -hmm. He winds up inadvertently messing up the face of the leading man in a stunt scene and gets fired. Oh. You know, right here. That's happening right now. That's happening right now. Yeah. So he gets kicked off, and he's like, I'm not leaving. I'm going to take my stuff out of my trail. Then I'm going to leave. You're not throwing me out of here. I'm going to take my things at least. Right. I'm going to leave with dignity. Yeah. That's my like, stuff. And they're like, knock yourself out. Like, so he goes okay. into his trailer, and when he gets there, Mysterio appears. And he's like, I'm Mysterio. I feel like you were just screwed over, and it would be a perfect time to recruit you. Literally that. <laughs> and he's like, Are Mysterio, you? the spirit of revenge. He literally, he just, he just shows up and he's like, behold. And he's like, Are you Ray Mysterio? And he's like, What? No, man. It's just no, Mysterio. Man, it's Mysterio. The man. wrestler? Yeah, Mysterio. yeah. The Mexican wrestler. And he's That's like, awesome. do I look like that? No. Am I wearing a luchador? Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Under the globe thing? Maybe. I don't what? know. He goes, no. And then he conjures like all these cool like images. And he's like, I'm an arch nemesis of Spider-Man. <laughs> Witness a small sampling of my power. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, you're using holograms. I work in the film industry, man. <laughs> and he goes, fine. I have a bunch of money. I'm going to give it to you if you help me out. And he goes, yeah, you're doing all these holograms. I bet that money's fake. And he's like, well, touch it. And then he does, and it disappears. Uh, yeah. He's like, okay, you got me. Okay, you got me. But I do have the money, and I will give it to you if you do me a, if you do me a favor. Uh huh. Yeah, he's I can't hologram it unless I actually had it. Right? Do you believe that? Yeah, I, right. did, I had to take a picture of real money, right? Uh, but by the way, the, the secret for this character, Alan, is that he's a mutant. Oh. His skin is abnormally strong. Oh, okay. okay. And he's like, listen, you, I'll keep your secret because I don't want to, you know, out you. We uh, call him the Callus. <laughs> he, has a, he has another name. It's Good, not that. Because that's gross. That's very gross. <laughs> but they could have used that. Hmm. Yeah. From a tough life when I was young. Exactly. My and, skin had to grow thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and, and I think Callus means, like, Mean spirited. Yeah. So, or like indifferent. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a, a, a mercenary who would take any job would be callous. Ah. So it's a it's, double entendre. See, there you go. That, that works way better. I feel like we need to create the Beniverse, which has these characters that <laughs> yeah. Ben comes Oh, you mean up like with. Torben Ray? Yeah. yeah. Who's really popular. Just populated now. with all these insane, uh, yeah. not real characters. Right? So I like that. Callous it is. His his other his 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 handle is hard rock, which is way less interesting. Hard rock, yeah, like should, the like the cafe. Make a, yeah, like the cafe. But it's music. one word. Oh. Anyway, great. Mysterio recruits hard rock into the fold by basically saying that Spider Man is a bully, and that you can mm -hmm. get some payback by kicking the shit out of Spider Man for me, and, and earn some money. So Spider Man's swinging around, and he's like, just just thinking. 
Yeah. Thinking about stuff that happened 35 years ago, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And uh, when he's swinging by, he sees Mysterio appear, and he goes, Oh, hey, listen, Mysterio, I want to apologize. Like, Come on down here. And then he disappears, and then he reappears. Mm. Apologize? You tried to blow me up in a building. Well, yeah, but he's... But he feels, he he's feels like, bad. I perpetrated that. Yeah. Nine out of, out of ten of my crossovers with characters involve me having a misunderstanding and trying to attack them. Literally, that's my first meeting with, like, Adam Warlock, Namor, Superman, yeah. everybody. Yeah, maybe you're just a good guy, and, like, we just had, like, seven or eight bad understandings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, as Spider-Man is, uh, is, is trying to engage with Mysterio, who keeps popping up in random intervals, uh, Mysterio reveals that he's in, a, he's in a command center, and he's got all kinds mm. of cameras all over the place. So he's monitoring the whole thing. Not even there. Right. And uh, then Mysterio finally, like, appears before Spider-Man, and Spider-Man's like, okay. So he goes to engage with Mysterio, and a fist blasts out of Mysterio's head bubble, <laughs> and it's, it's Hard Rock. Right. And he's like, ha-ha, I'm here, nothing personal, but I'm gonna kick your ass. So Spider-Man's fighting with Hard Rock, and when Spider-Man punches him, hurts his hand. It hurt, oh. And it's like punching a callus. Oh. Oh. If only <laughs> Hard Rock would have changed his name, it would be more appropriate. But... So they fight, and, uh, and and Hard Rock gets the jump on Spider-Man and just knocks him into submission. Spider-Man's wow. just unconscious. Is uh, there any reason why his spider sense is not helping a lot? Uh, it's it's just that like he knows where the danger is coming from. It's just okay. that Hard it's Rock just, is too strong. He's too strong. He's too fast. Yeah. And Spider-Man can usually like dodge was kind of or like off. take a punch. Yeah. You and also, hand, he's punch not him expecting him. And Spider-Man tries to web him, but Mysterio has tipped off Hard Rock to Spider-Man's. Webbing. You know, his his arsenal. So his suit is made with like a kind of like viscous liquid or some kind of like material that rejects ah. the, the webbing, so he can't even stick to him. Yeah, it's Teflon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, web his face then. Well, he, he, he's he's already loopy from the beatings, right. so he, he may have, in, in fact, tried because he shoots him in the chest. So yeah. maybe he tried to hit him in the face and he missed. Right. Well, don't worry. I'm sure at some point Spider-Man is just going to get frustrated and then like a giant mouth will appear and he'll just eat the guy's brain. Right. <laughs> Well, that would never have happened during that time because that's not what the symbiote did, nor was that what the writers would have thought the symbiote was, was capable of. Right. But this is 2019. And we know. We know what that suit will be able to do. So, so Hard Rock kicks the, kicks the crap out of Spider-Man. He's unconscious. Hard Rock's like, well, that was Spider-Man. Takes out a gun. He's going to shoot him. The suit just blasts off of Spider-Man and just grabs him and like snakes around him. And he's like, this was not part of the deal, Mysterio. Uh, and Mysterio's like, whoa. <laughs> this is crazy because he's just he's just taking it all in. The suit plows into Hard Rock's mouth, goes into his body, and then expands and blasts him open. Oh my God! Holy crap! That is grotesque. Which is why you've never heard of Hard Rock before, right? And yeah. why they didn't waste an awesome name like Callus on this character. Only two people have ever heard of Hard Rock. <laughs> yeah, Mysterio, Mysterio and Hard Rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Spider-Man took such a beating, maybe he wouldn't even remember this altercation. <laughs> and uh, the suit didn't tell him afterwards. No, I think he's gonna remember when he wakes up and sees the guy has no friggin' head. He's already unconscious. This suit's not gonna leave him here. Oh, it's gonna take him. We, that's already established. <laughs> so Peter never finds out about this. No, this is no. Peter oh never knew God. that he killed this that, guy. Right, and he didn't kill. Well, him. he didn't the suit, but he did because he brought the suit from Battle World. Yeah. Hey, this is kind of like the boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've got impenetrable skin, huh? <laughs> I got something for you. So. Oh. Mysterio was co-opting Johnny's command center from the Kingpin stronghold. Hmm. So, with Kingpin's knowledge? Or? No, without Kingpin's oh, knowledge. Yeah. He also learns now that Spider-Man is imbued with like this crazy power. Yeah. And he wants it. Ah. Uh. And uh, then Johnny reaches out to Mysterio because he knows that you know Mysterio used his, his lab. Mm. And uh, and he's I like, know "What are you, we doing?" Man. Yeah, I know yeah. it's you. And and you're like right outside of my of my area. Right. So he goes, listen. Plus I know that bank thing didn't work out for you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh Johnny's like, listen, like, you gotta get out of here. And Mysterio's like, I've got something that Kingpin might be interested in. So oh, what are you gonna share it with them? We'll work together. Yeah. Maybe like what we'll do is like I'll help your career if you give me access to like Kingpin's stuff. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah, make an introduction for me. That well, kind of thing. And also, like, I'll get you this, like, crazy suit for Kingpin. You'll get it. You'll get the credit. And you'll, you know, you'll rise to the ranks. And what do you get? Well, I get you. Like, your favors and stuff. And your connections. Also, I get Because I'm a dumbass who doesn't, like, 
And that's, Mysterio doesn't think more than a step ahead of himself, mm. so, yeah. I would just assume, like, okay, so, like, when I, I'm going to help you, and then you're going to get the suit, and then you're going to keep the suit, and you're going to fuck me over. Right. 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 That is not Mysterio's plan. Oh, okay. So, Mysterio's plan is, here, I have the suit in this container, and I'll leave it over here. Don't touch it. Right. Well, don't touch it. Oh, it's it. a hologram. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, don't touch it, but just give me the money. Yeah. There's your suit. Whatever. Can you imagine the Kingpin even wa knowing what to do with that? Right. Hello, I'm Mysterio, and I brought you this thing. What is it? It looks like... It looks like tar. No, oh, it's a magical suit that Spider -Man is alive, uses. and Spider-Man uses it, and it'll come out and go on your body. Don't try and eat it. It'll, it'll explode all you from the inside. You. I don't want that. No, no, no. It's really cool. You see, it's super high tech. Yeah, yeah. Or alive, or, or something. Or alive. But anyway, you it's don't, you don't know. No, I don't. But it's worth a million dollars. Can you give me a million dollars for it? Like, because that's what Mysterio <laughs> wants. It's just like he wants to be paid. It's like, oh yeah, yeah let me just write you a check. Yeah, because right he wants his island. How many zeros? Yeah, uh, that'd be six zeros. Six million, zeros. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh come on. Yeah. And in the memo, just don't forget to write like death suit. Oh yeah, death suit. Here you go. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this check's as real as that trick. fucking suit you're not giving me. <laughs> I'm gonna make your fucking future disappear. <laughs> so, <laughs> Spider-Man fights Electro in a fun scene. Doesn't matter. In front of cats. You forgot to mention it's a cat. Yeah, Sweet. well, it's the past. <laughs> cats. Now, so, forever. He Winter must Garden be Theater. at the Winter Garden Theater. <laughs> oh, yeah. We know exactly where that is. <laughs> yeah. So, Spider-Man fights Electro and cats. I don't know why Electro decided to rob the Winter Garden Theater, much less during a, 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 a blockbuster like Cats. Is he, is he gonna rob the box office, or is he like, everyone give me your wallet? He doesn't even crap. explain it. He just says, you've ruined my plans for the last time, Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was gonna be I just part of Cats. Cats. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna murder the cats. Yeah, I was, was gonna never destroy cats. I'm a dog person. <laughs> I don't want it to end the, you know, to defeat the record of longest running show exactly. currently held by whatever, <laughs> whatever Phantom or something. <laughs> yeah, whatever play that was back then. Phantom wears a mask, I wear a mask, we share a bond. Yeah, yeah. no cat will disrupt the record. No. So you know what it was, he saw it, he's just like, this, this sucks. This is why people are going crazy? Uh, there's no plot. No, I have to destroy this show. <laughs> it's just a bunch of bullshit. What, is, what, is, what are Jellicle cats? What does that mean? <laughs> It's just a bunch of nonsense. You know, they say it's a bunch a, of disconnected songs. There's no strung together by line. what seems to be like a death cult. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they have nine lives. You see. No, they're going to die at the end. <laughs> yeah, but then like maybe they'll come back. Maybe there's just one life. This or is something. This is very. This is this is confusing, <laughs> and if not confusing, completely bafflingly creepy. What, what's happening with Black Cat? She looks so sad. Well, she uh, she she bumps into Spider-Man. She's upset because she's not in Cats. <laughs> she's like, come on, this is perfect. Yeah. We already made that reference. Kevin Smith made it in Spider-Man Black Cat, The Evil That Men Do. She threatens to sing memory from Cats to interrogate Scorpina. Anyways... She reveals that she had a conversation with Aunt May, oh. and Peter's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you're what? moving too fast. Like, like what are you talk doing? To my and she's like, well. She's like a main character. You she, so am I. <laughs> she was there and you left me. Right. Like, you're well, a jackass. What am I supposed to do? Mysterio in the face. But essentially. Because I saw him. Yeah, because I saw him. Conveniently in the same place. Like that, you idiot. <laughs> so, oh, Felicia. Oh, like a psycho. Yeah, right? You like you're like addicted to this. Yeah, you're. A, <laughs> yeah, you're addicted to drama and like, <laughs> and punching people. Yeah, and overly complicating situations. I thought you were like a hero. You're just like a violent asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't agree, but that's no, certainly no. how he behaves. <laughs> so Felicia's like, you should tell your aunt who you are. Oh, she's she, a nice lady. She's a nice person. She. Like, she's traipsing all over the city, like, working and shit. Like, she lost her husband to a gun violence, and and she's still here and, like, believes in good. Like, she can handle you being Spider-Man instead of you lying to her all, all the time. I love it. And he's he'd like, be like, but she hates Spider-Man. Yeah, he doesn't even say that. Yeah. He's like, maybe she could have handled it when I was a teenager, but now she would definitely keel over. Felicia's like, 
I wish I had someone in my life I could talk to about everything. Like, mm. you talk to her about seemingly everything except the most important thing in your life. Mm. There's no one in my life that I could talk to about this kind of thing. And you have someone in your life that will be there that knows you and loves you unconditionally. And he's like, it's not that simple. And she was like, or maybe you're just making it overly complicated. I'm amazed mm. Peter doesn't go, you don't consider me someone to talk to? It's probably, I mean, like, yeah. one, one thing at a time. I'm all butthurt about everything else. <laughs> <laughs> you talk to my aunt? Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Felicia? Why don't you talk to her about how you're a black cat? <laughs> if you want to talk to someone so much, I'm sure she'll listen to you. I guarantee you Aunt May would just be like, Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that tracks. Look at you. Of course, of course you black cat. Yeah, I've seen your picture before. <laughs> you know, her mask is just like a thin strip of black around the eyes. Yeah. It's very clear who you are. Right? And they could have just gone, yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Felicia and Spider-Man have like a big argument about Aunt May. Of course, right. Peter's gonna be more defensive because yeah. she's the only living relative in his life. And yeah, she's got one foot in the grave already. Practically, <laughs> so, and, and he's constantly coddling her just as she coddled him, yeah. so. And they're already in like a weird relationship right now because like she's not really talking to him. So, mm. he's, yeah. he's pretty defensive. But it causes a, a, a spat between the two yeah. of them. And so he's like, you know what? I'm gonna leave before I say something re you, I regret. And she's like, you mean you're gonna stop doing that? Because you've been saying pretty That's all you've been thing. doing. Yeah. And he's like, ah, I'll see you maybe. I'll see you later. Maybe. She's like, Oof. good lord. <laughs> so then she goes back to her apartment and she espouses to herself about how like, you know, I, I love him. Why? Sometimes I, for, I forget that. Like, w w wait a minute. Like, do I love him or do I just... Because I, I oh, keep boy. telling myself that I love Spider. And then Mysterio's like, please continue to talk out loud about your private matters. And she's like, oh, Mysterio, blah. So then they fight for a minute. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Mysterio, like, just gets a, gets a rope around her throat and oh. like, threatens to kill her. And then she frees herself. And then he's like, listen, I know about how you got your powers and about your, your like, debt to the kingpin. And he mm. proceeds to show her, like, the dossier that kingpin has on her. Right. And he's like, I've gotten in with the kingpin now. And I know that Spider-Man doesn't know about your little you know, back and forth with the kingpin, and what if he did know? Maybe you wouldn't have to worry about not loving him so much. Maybe he wouldn't love you. How about that? Mm. But I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> I need you to do me a favor, and then I'll make sure Spider-Man never sees this dossier. And so she kicks him in the nuts. <laughs> and he's like, okay, well, Damn I it. see you've made your decision. Well, bye. I'm off to Spider-Man's house to drop off this dossier. Joke's on you! You're Those going are holographic... <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't even believe that lie. He actually throws up in his helmet at the same <laughs> point of this book, but not because of the of, of the nut kick. But he should. Yeah. Oh, he does when uh, when 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 Hard Rock his head explodes. Oh, that makes he sense. He barfs in the helmet. He's like, oh Ooh. no! Now you killed two people. <laughs> he can just take it off. No, I mean he's killed Hard Rock and he's killed that woman. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah Mysterio is responsible. He's just for get okay. No, Mysterio just... definitely killed the woman. The suit killed Yeah, the suit killed Hard, Hard Rock. Rock. I mean, well, but he's responsible because he sent Hard Rock there. That could have been anybody. Yeah, but he didn't know that... Well, Spider-Man anyway. had a murderous suit on yes. his body. Yeah. So, you know, Mysterio well, was like, listen. He knew that guard was going to shoot the woman who, he, who yeah. was standing behind yeah. his hologram he's, either. He's as culpable. Yeah. So uh, Mysterio's like, listen, like, help me out. Okay, bye. So she's like, oh, fine. What do you want? And he's like, I want you just... Take a piece of Spider-Man's new suit and give it to me. I'll give, give it this. to you. <laughs> yeah. Why would I give it to you? Because I want it. So <laughs> he 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 offers this like special scalpel that'll get it for her. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work. Know. How would he know? Indeed. So he offers it, to, and she's like, "Okay, just give me the damn scalpel." So Spider-Man's like going home. He goes through the skylight. He gets in there, and when he gets there, his spider sense goes off. He's like, "Oh no!" And it's Felicia, and mm. she's in there, and she's wearing nothing but a robe. Mm. And she's like, "Listen, let's talk." Oh my! Your spider sense. There's danger. You're gonna have a heart attack from seeing her like this. <laughs> so uh, she takes off her robe, and she's wearing sexy underwear. Yeah. And he's like, "This is not gonna end the conversation." Yeah. Right. So he uh, continues. Whatever. Yeah. So. They, they, yeah, we'll have a conversation later. Well, She's like, about. I need to get him to sleep. I know how to do that. <laughs> so they bang, and then he is fast asleep, and so she goes and takes like a, a like a piece of the finger from the glove of the suit, right? And she puts it into a, like a special like case, and it doesn't explode her. No, 
Yeah, why but not? that, by the way, was why Spider Man's Spider Sense went off because she's betraying right, him. Right. But uh, it grows back immediately. And yeah. She's like, "This is really weird." Like. Peter's being a real idiot. Yeah. So then she puts on her black house costume and leaves. And when she leaves, the suit, like, leaves the chair, watches her leave, goes on to Peter, and then goes after her. Huh. When he's asleep? Is he asleep during this whole time? He's asleep. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Yeah. So Felicia hands over the sample to Mysterio. So the suit cares enough to like follow her, but not enough to stop to her from him? taking a piece of it. I, I think it's because it knows. It, it's like no, I. It has to. He, he has to catch her in the act. Oh, well, I gotta. And then I he'll be mine. Out the whole plan. <laughs> the suit's like planning this we, all we've out. We talked, I think, about this about the idea that like the suit is like cool with her, and it's oh, like yeah. it's like Blade Runner too, where it's like I'll wear the suit and you'll have sex with her, but you'll be having sex with me. <laughs> The suit's oh. like, look, you get his adrenaline up. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. good stuff for uh, me. But anyway, uh, no, uh, the, I think the idea is that the suit's like, if I reveal, if I if I defend myself, uh, she'll know and then tell him. Right, right, right. But also, if he's back with Mary Jane and she's not a superhero, he'll be in the suit less often. I guess that's if he's true. with a superhero or I, someone I, who dresses up like the that. The suit does not think about like the interworkings of Peter's love life <laughs> and like defending which one over the other. Anyway, so she gives the sample to Mysterio and uh, Mysterio gets the, the sample and then the suit just like watches him. Like, well, Peter, yeah. Spider-Man, yeah. follows him and then goes, uh, you know, goes after him. So, P so, so Mysterio goes to Johnny's like lab because remember, they're from MIT. Yeah, right. So they can use science on it. Right, they're sciencing and, it. Yeah, so they put the jar under another jar, like a glass shield mm. that is to evocative. analyze it. Yeah, which is evocative of Mysterio's bubble. Yeah. Uh, so they're looking at it, and then it, like, it blasts out of the little case, and then it like starts to like grow and get like all over the bubble, and they're Ew. like, what is it doing? And Mysterio's like, I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, so... While they are looking at it, uh, Kingpin calls for Johnny. Johnny goes down to meet with Kingpin, and then Spider-Man shows up and punches Mysterio in the face. Yeah. And uh, so... And cracks his glass dome immediately. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, his dome cracks in every single fight they have. <laughs> He's got a lot of domes. Yeah. He's got like 30 domes. Exactly. Him. So uh, Spider-Man releases the, the bubble over the sample, uh -huh. but the sample runs away from Spider-Man. Oh, no. And then Spider-Man has to defend himself against security forces that are trying to stop him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so Spider-Man's fighting the security forces. And Kingpin's like, what the hell is Spider-Man doing here? <laughs> what is going on in here? Right. So he's like, yes, well, okay, Spider-Man, do you have the nerve to fight me man to man? And the suit, as Spider-Man, just head dives through the window. Uh, just, choom! Nah. nah, this guy's huge. Okie dokie. I see Mysterio's here. Well, bring him downstairs. So the Mysterio wakes up and he is in like the torture room in yeah. Fisk's high rise. Yeah. And uh, so he's like, he's he's all like chained up and they're throwing water on him and Kingpin's like rolling up his sleeves. And so he's beating the crap out of Quentin Beck and he's like, what are you doing in my, in my building? Yeah. What are you doing using my shit? <laughs> and before Quentin can really out Johnny or reveal his plan. Thank God. The yeah. sample goes on to Mysterio. Oh. And he's like, what's going on here? And then the suit, like, goes all over Mysterio. So and, you got a full-size suit now? And he gets a full-sized new symbiote suit that is the same suit as Venom. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the symbiote. Yeah. It's not a reproduction. It's not a carnage or a phage or lasher or any of those characters. No, it's just, it's just Mysterio. It's just another Venom. It's an extension of the primary symbiote suit. Yeah. They don't really get into it's it. Like it's like a copy. A and I've never seen it done before. Right. And in fact, it's never been done before. Yeah. Wait. And it never would work that way. Is that way. why it, it ran away? It friggin' sense. How does it get that big? Because it, because it has to. Because it grows. Because now we get an awesome... Does it eat? Where does it get the material to make itself bigger? It's an alien. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> it become the the reason it does it is so that we can get a Mysterio Venom hybrid. What? Look how dope that Look drawing is. Look at how awesome is. it looks. Don't you not care about how it violates all these other things that you know about the symbiote? <laughs> yes. No, I care. <laughs> I well, still care. well then shut up because <laughs> now now Mysterio oh, and also because we're it's it's 2019 and we're telling a story that's 35 years ago, back then it doesn't augment your strength. 
but now it does and has. Right. So now Mysterio well, it souped could. up. It always could, and we just didn't. It just oh, never course. tried or yeah. whatever. So now... Well, Spider-Man was already real, strong, yes. so you couldn't really tell. Yeah, how do you quantify, like, 25% more strength or right. whatever? Okay. The so real question is, how would this as strong as normal person. Exactly. change Quentin Beck's powers, like, with hard light technology? Yeah, it, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. He just uses it just in stronger. conjunction with the suit. He could also yeah. just pick up Kingpin. Which he does. And throws Great. in his thugs. Uh, also, nice. you may have noticed that, like, Mysterio's, like... Eyes? Suit has those eyes on the yeah. on the lapels yeah. and everything. I did. Well, now because it's the symbiote, we get like cool kind of fun Spider-Man in the '80s eyes. Yeah. Like whoa. Neat. Hey, What's this hey. box on his arm. My eyes those are, are down here. Those are those are part of Mysterio's suit. Like he always has those oh. like kind of like boxes around. I never really noticed. Yeah, yeah. They're his gauntlets. Yeah. Okay. They're bizarrely shaped, but they're consistent. In the yes, book. they are. Yeah. Uh, you ask me. I guess it's cool. Well, because it's black. Yeah. So it's like dark. It's and like dark it makes the cross, Mysterio. the weird the, pattern. The cross hatching. Up. Yeah, it does. I, I'll, I'll tell you this. If you're gonna give Mysterio the suit, or if you're gonna make a story about the suit and Mysterio, you're doing the thing that I always complain they never do. Like when Spider, right. when, when Venom and Punisher team up. Yeah. And Punisher doesn't get the the symbiote for no reason, yeah. and we don't get you're Venom. Like, what Punisher? are we even doing? Like, here? What are we even doing this for? And it's like, at least we get venomized Mysterio. Right. Does, am I disappointed the whole suit isn't a mouth? Yeah, a little bit. But you know what? But what? Moderation. Well, but that's it, not going to, because it's going to be venom. Like, it's going to we're be. We're throwing everything out the window. Yeah, there should cares. be teeth. Look, like, make it a whole the thing. Teeth? If you're going to No, do... it hasn't evolved to that point yet. It no. has. Well, it doesn't evolve. It's just that he chooses to do it later. But like, <laughs> yes. But that's for Eddie Brock. The, but the writers haven't thought of it yet, but now they have, so it should. And that's the thing is that like, we're doing the venomized Mysterio thing anyway. But we have enough integrity, if you want to use that word, to not go full venom. We gave him right. Spider-Man eyes on his neck. What else do you want? All I'm saying is I want to see Quentin Beck with a giant, like, mouth. With a globe be a huge mouth with teeth. Right? Except that's the head. The eyes are down here. No, the, the, the face is the body. Oh. Uh, it doesn't. I don't like no, that. No, it doesn't make any sense. I want sense. it to be the globe. The fact is, because the suit doesn't become a mouth and eat hard rock, it, like, becomes the suit and just, like, b blows him up from blows within. Blows him apart, yeah. It means that we're not doing the Venom thing. Like, yeah. We're not going to go that it hasn't far. hasn't thought of it yet. It hasn't thought of the mouth yet, which is like, wow! Because of course, because Peter David's like, no! Venom wasn't invented yet. Right. He doesn't think to grow the mouth until he grows the mouth to scare Mary Jane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In it's the first appearance different. of Venom, that's totally different. And that is like kind of cool. Sure. That being it's, said, it's if you don't care anyway, that just there's make restraint. It. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's yeah, weird. You're making shit up because you're making the symbiote do things it's never done. Yeah, but it also can be a whole other suit. Like, yeah. what? So, uh, well, imagine well, we, if, like, you just had a little bit of it get on you. Yeah. It could grow. It can change its size. They That's better, what the symbiote they does. They better destroy this suit. They don't destroy it, but they undo it. Okay. So... Mysterio, Venomized Mysterio, Symbiote Mysterio, Mystimbio. Sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was willing to give it Sim to you. Mysterio. Symbirio. Symbirio. Simsterio. Simsterio. Sim Sim Simsterio. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Anyway, he's like, now that I'm all venomized, I'm gonna kick ass and take names. Right. So uh, Spider Man sleep and he wakes up. Aunt May calls. And she's like, I had a nice conversation with the lady you're having sex with. Yeah. And, because you're not dating. Right. And uh, I, I've decided... The one you brought to your... To, you, to, to my husband's grave. To my grave. husband's grave. <laughs> what, were you showing her off? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Uncle Ben, check we, out this piece. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, pretty hot, huh? Yeah. Not bad, huh? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Aunt May didn't look this good in her heyday, huh? <laughs> huh? All right. Either uh, that, anyway, I'm sorry I got you killed. <laughs> That's why I mean. But like she's like, what? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> or, or he's going for the sympathy lay. Oh, yeah. He's like, we just have to make a stopover before we go to the coffee bean. <laughs> so, so my uncle. Sympathy lay, she's banging him anyway. It's yeah. mostly a physical relationship. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, nah, I, I, it could fall apart any second. I gotta, I gotta Peter is up with deeply another insecure. Yeah. You never know. And putting them, um, uh, it's called insurance bed. You gotta yeah. put in yep. to take out. Anyway. Casey's thinking so, about not having sex with me. So, yeah, that's the exact, that's the kind of sex you want is pity sex. <laughs> Any port in a storm, you're Peter Parker. 
Christ. I'm not convinced that <laughs> Felicia Hardy isn't Peter's first. Oh. I'm pretty sure she is. Hmm. Because thanks to Sin's past, we know that he never had sex with Gwen Stacy. Mm. I reject that reality. Right. Seems but unlikely. in continuity, technically, we do know definitively that he did have sex with Felicia Hardy. Right. We don't know if he had sex with, well, okay, no. We don't know mm. when. Maybe mm. he had sex with Mary Jane during the real clone saga. So Mary Jane may have actually been his mm. first. I would think that would be the case. Yeah, that's what I would expect. Because of the scene at the end of the clone saga where he's like, come on, I'll show you, and he locks the door. Yeah, So yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah. that might be it. There so yeah, go. if not, <laughs> So if not then, then yes, Felicia is definitely his first. But right. I'm pretty sure that... that Assuming so. that theory that she is his first, he is not so advanced to think that, like, I gotta lock her into this by making her pity I'm me. I he's deeply insecure. Anyway, Aunt May's like, let's meet for lunch hmm. at our favorite breakfast spot when Uncle Ben was alive. Hmm. Cool, your house? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, your kitchen? <laughs> Terrific! Because I know right that's well that established. <laughs> No, uh, it's it's in Flushing. So he's like, okay, I'm, I'm on my way. So he immediately puts on his crazy alien costume and uh, swings out there. Felicia's sticking behind and she's like, where is he going in such a hurry? Hmm. So he swings out she's there. She's following him. Yeah. Aunt May is at the pancake place hmm. and she's waiting and the, uh, you know, the, the, the mater d', I don't know, like the, the guy who works there <laughs> is like, I don't know what you call the guy who works there who isn't necessarily like a waiter, you know, is he the owner? I don't know. Anyway, well, he's either the owner or he's just the maybe he's the manager. I think it's the mater D. Regardless, like you're the seating staff right? person. The host. Oh, the, host. the host. host. Yeah, there you go. That's it. <laughs> we we look up and they're just yeah. like, oh my god, Tiffany's uh. there. <laughs> I swear we've been to restaurants before. <laughs> I have eaten in another place. Not in the past my home. five months. That's true. But it's been a while. So it, yeah, it has been a while. The, the vernacular's gone. Yeah. So the, the host meets up with Aunt May and they're like, are you waiting for somebody, ma'am? And she's like, he's he's on his way, he's late. And they're just like, oh. I love the fact that she can get there <laughs> she got stood up. in her state faster than he can in the Spider-Man state. I know. Well, maybe it's right around the corner for him. He's got to cross town. Well, because she lives in Queens and right. they're at a place yeah, in and Queens. He in and he lives in Manhattan. So he's yeah. got to swing it's over. It's going to be a while. Yeah. And she even says, like, no, he's he's on the 7 train. Yeah, that thing's is, always late. He's literally on it. And he is on it riding it, and then Mysterio venomizes, like, no, I'll fight you. And Spider Man's like, damn it. Damn it, why did I put on the suit? Yeah. Why did I, I just it, walked into the train like a normal friggin' person? It's it's technically faster to be Spider Man. Yeah, unless you get waylaid by a goddamn supervillain. Yes. So, uh, Mysterio fights. If he wasn't fights. waylaid by a supervillain, he'd be on the train, and someone would, like, get mugged, and he'd have to step in anyway. Uh, yeah, well, you're reading a Spider-Man costume. He's going to have an excuse to put on the suit, yeah. not make the date. So Spider-Man's on his way to Aunt May. Mysterio engages him and zaps him. And uh, they're on With their way what? by uh, his powers. And so <laughs> he is knocked out. But now the oh. suit's taken over. Uh, something that doesn't normally happen. Why doesn't the symbiote protect Spider-Man from the knockout gas? Well, no, no, no. He's, he gets knocked out from a, from a zap. Oh, it's like electricity. Yeah. Oh. So uh, they're on their Again, way. Oh, by the way, why isn't the suit protect him from that? It's not a sonic, well, be, right? No, it is not. Ah, but electricity can burn like fire. Yeah, they don't bring it up. So uh, they're fighting, and uh, of course, we know that the suit has taken over because he's not talking anymore. Yeah. Uh, but we see like an augmentation of uh, of, of Symbistio's uh, power or whatever, Symbirio, <laughs> and uh, his is like. You know, he reaches out and like he gets like cool, crazy talons. The giant stuff. claws that go through the yeah. roof of the subway car. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, the subway, it's an elevated train that's going past Shea Stadium. The, fa the, mm. the, the, the climactic battle will take place at Shea Stadium. Cool. Uh, so they're fighting. Uh, Black Hat shows up because she was tailing Spider-Man the whole time. Yeah. Yep. And they're and so she. I like this effect. Yeah, I like yeah. the fact that there's a swirl in the in helmet. The globe thing yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. It's a cool effect. That is a cool visual that Greg Land achieves. Right. Yeah, to show that like there, even if it's you're alive. not, even if you're not seeing the suit, like this shows that. Yeah, it's and it's and it's motion. You know? Yeah, it's always uh, moving. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Black Cat engages Mysterio. Mysterio's like, your your boyfriend isn't isn't fighting me right now. And she's like, what do you mean? So he hasn't quipped in like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. But Mysterio now knows like what this is, and that mm. it's like, well, he doesn't know that it's a symbiote or where it comes from or anything like that. But he knows that it's alive, and he knows that like it will take over for him because it's part of him. Like, right. He can feel it. 
Uh, and I saw it blow a guy up. He, that's true. Oh, yeah. you didn't know that it could do that? Yeah. So, uh, Chris, the, cut back to, to Aunt May's, Aunt May. the date's not going well. Still being sad. Oh, she is, screw her. Because the, the, <laughs> the host shows up and she's like. I have never like, heard you say that before. <laughs> she's like, would you like some more coffee, man? She goes, no, thank you. What time is it? Do you know? And she's like, oh, it's a little past 11. What's wrong? She's like, I was waiting for my nephew. And she's like, oh, okay. He's like, he's like, maybe he's, uh. Maybe he's, maybe he's running late. Maybe he's behind. She goes, no, nah, he's very busy these days, so I understand. And she's like, well, what does he do? And she goes, uh, he was in graduate school, and now he, he, he's, he's, really, he's really nothing. <laughs> he's not much of anything. Yeah. Wow. And she goes, wow, that is, that is pretty harsh, lady. And she goes, it's a harsh world. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's such a brutal thing to say to another person. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm just gonna brew this that coffee extra salty. dark for you. <laughs> so no cream or sugar for you, huh? <laughs> but we're getting an idea about like why, because I think Peter David is like Aunt May doesn't forgive Peter during this period. That's right. So I'm gonna, but I need to put Aunt May in this story. So she flirts with the idea of she forgiving can't be him. bubbly. <laughs> so she doesn't forgive him, and then it extends into the run, and so she'll forgive him. In the place where she did 35 years ago. Right. It's like, okay. All right. I guess that's cool. <laughs> so, All right, fine. So Spider-Man fights Mysterio. Uh, ultimately, it's weird because she called him to that place. Like, if she's not ready to, like, forgive him. Well, no. She, she he didn't show up. This is what makes her mad. Yeah. Yeah. Or reignites her, for yeah. her, her rage for him. But uh, so she, they, they, they fight. Ultimately, it's, it's, it's wrapped up in, like, two fight In, in, in like, two pages. Oh. Friggin'. Black Cat does most of the work. Yes, because Spider-Man's like a puppet right now. He's just like, nah, right. nah, nah. But uh, Felicia's fighting him. Uh, Mysterio shoots like a nitroglycerin bomb at Spider-Man. And Felicia and Spider-Man like dodge out of the way. But the heat from the explosion forces the remaining symbiote off of Mysterio. Oh. And he's like, what's what's going on? What Did, was the fi is it, did the fire hurt you? What's going on? And the suit like leaves Mysterio and goes back to Spider-Man. Like, oh, no. Oh. Hurt me once. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Going back to daddy. You didn't take care of me. I'm done. Because I think that the idea here is that like the suit didn't go immediately back to Spider-Man. Yeah, because it was like, oh, Maybe no. this guy's got something going on. But like yeah. it hurt him. So he's like, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh. So what? Now Spider-Man's got like friggin' like more Right, like he's more well, he's got the he same amount. He gets reabsorbed. He's, yeah, he gets he gets And the volume doesn't change? No. So fully formed symbiote Spider-Man fights Mysterio, kicks the crap out of him, and then just starts choking him. Oh. Because it's the suit. It's yeah. mad at him. And Felicia's like, hey, hey, stop, stop. And he just pushes her out of the way, keeps like, choking him. Home right and now. then, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Mysterio's like, you should have listened to your girlfriend. And then, like, he activates, like, a kind of, like, self-defense electricity mechanism that forces Spider-Man off of him. That wakes up Peter. Shocks oh, no, he doesn't knock him out, and then shocks wake him back up. Yeah. Maybe he died, and it, like, resuscitated <laughs> him. God damn it! <laughs> and the That's suit put him in, like, a healing heart. coma or yeah. something. It defibrillated yeah, it him. It defibrillates him. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Oh no, so he's, he's out. Like, so he's like, what the hell am I doing at Chase Stadium? Felicia, what are you doing here? She's like, oh, ba you're back now, huh? And uh, you, you can apologize for, for ditching me later. We got to deal with this because Mysterio has gone into Shea Stadium. What am I doing at Shea Stadium? I got knocked out on a train that goes by Shea Stadium. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, really? He, but what he am I doing here? He, still he probably thought he was going to wake right back up. Yeah, exactly. Man. So then a so bunch this of- this is how he learns that the suit takes him places? No. No. He, he should. Just, no, but, but no. I think the suit fogs his mind about it. Yeah. It's but, like, oh, no, no, nothing, nothing happened. Yeah. So uh, Mysterio activates a bunch of, like, holograms of dinosaurs tearing through Shea Stadium. Everyone's oh. running away. Uh, a lot of, like, Google images uh, appear in faces all across the two pages <laughs> here. And uh, Mysterio realizes he, because he's lost the suit, he doesn't have as much power or whatever, but like this, the, the constructs aren't staying together like they should be. Because mm. he, he's kind of like going at it half cock because he doesn't have like full Mysterio regalia. He was like, well, I got this suit now. I don't really need to be full Mysterio. So yeah, somehow the suit augments my... Yeah, my, my ability to make projections and crap. Nope. So then Spider-Man like attacks Mysterio. Uh, Mysterio does a couple of those like smoke and mirrors effects where he's like one place, he's not enough. And then uh, Black Cat sees through it, supposedly using her bad luck what, powers. What, her bad luck powers? Yeah. 
Because bad luck that she was able to beat him. And bad so, luck for somebody else. Uh, she breaks out a baseball bat. I guess bad luck for him, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That she figured out which. Which one was him? Yeah. A Jose Canseco bat? <laughs> Tell me! You didn't pay money for this. But she breaks out this bat and she does the whole, like, it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game and hits him, knocks him out. Well, they, <laughs> yeah. She bludgeons a man into <laughs> unconsciousness. And possibly death. <laughs> while singing an old baseball tune. Oh my god, I think he's dead. He's bleeding out of his ears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, Peter, I'm doing the creepy thing that you like to do. Oh my god, somebody call an ambulance. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. So Spider-Man leaves. He's like, oh crap, my aunt, I gotta go. And she's like, go on. So he leaves, and then Black Cat's like, if you tell Spider-Man about the suit or about <laughs> my powers or anything, I'm gonna kill you with this baseball bat. And he's like, well, I don't want him to know about the suit because I know what the suit will do now. So then Peter goes to the goes to the, the the pancake place. The waitress who is now sour to Peter, she uh -huh. has like a real cross face. She's oh, like, now he shows up. Yeah. Oh well, look, your aunt left you a note, and he reads the note. And he crumples it up. Lord knows what that note says. Wow. She left him a friggin' bitter <laughs> note. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Well, yeah, she can't leave him a voicemail. That's no. true. So then Peter goes back to his apartment, and uh, he calls Aunt May. Aunt May hangs up on him. <sighs> And, uh, and he goes, geez, how can my luck get any worse? And, oh! and, and Felicia's like, oh. <laughs> that's the story of Symbiote Spider-Man. It's, it is a, like, it's such a great little, like, retcon that also, it's, it's, don't put it in with your collection where you're like, okay, so I'm just going to read, like, all the Spider-Man like, in right, order. Right, read in order. Because for whatever reason, the art's going to get, like, really bad, and also the suit's going to do things it's never going to do for another, like, hundred <laughs> issues. Yeah. But it is a fun Still callback. Quite work. Yeah. Yeah. The cool thing about this is that it's kind of a downer story. Yeah. Like it doesn't yeah. end on a positive no, note. No, which Peter's most of those sucks. stories back then did not. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Because Peter David is one of the many stable of Spider Man writers who believe that, like, Peter Parker, you gotta, t if you give him something, you gotta take something away. Yeah. <laughs> he's Yikes. Charlie Brown. Yeah. You gotta pull that football. <laughs> Well, and he's like banging Black Cat right now, so I gotta I gotta pull a lot of footballs away to make up for that one. <laughs> I mean, you could just have them have a legitimate argument. They have an argument, which they do have. Yeah. Yeah, but he wouldn't know how to stand but up. She's for that. still like he's helping. Him, you know, she's still like really devoted to him, though. Yes, she is. Yeah. Yeah, enough to like bludgeon the man almost to death. She with knows he's yeah. Spider Man. Yes. Yeah. That's a huge chip. That's true. That's true. Yeah. 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 But uh, it's in the description. Pick it up if you want it. I dig it. There's a sequel to this that goes even further. Like, they couldn't believe it. There's a sequel to this? Oh, this sold crazy good. What? Yeah, it was... The movie tie-in, actually? This dumbass or... movie tie-in that's like a 35-year-old story that's written by a writer who hasn't written Spider-Man in over a decade. Wow. Suddenly was like one of the top-selling books, particularly at Marvel. I will say, it's it fun. Blows. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's good. It's in continuity. It checks a lot of boxes. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's from a period Black of time Cat. that was interesting, where they okay. knew what to do with Black Cat and the Spider-Man and, Spider -Man Spider -Man. and the Black Suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun, but it sold so well. They were like, "Do another one!" Like now. And, it, and Peter David is a great writer who can write. Like he probably wrote the sequel already. <laughs> so right. he's like, I already had it written up here. Exactly. And Land can get a book out in no time. So they had that book like ready to go. Yeah. And the sequel goes even further, like, ooh, what else was a big staple of the 80s? Like, Hobgoblin? And, like, let's do magic. So Doctor Strange is in that story, and it's, but we still have to deal with the symbiote? Like, it's, it's a lot, but it, I think it's pretty cool. But my problem, on because with this, I really enjoyed it. I had a great time reading it. Mm -hmm. But the art mm. was very distracting. Yeah. You notice it. And in the second yeah. one, because they fast-tracked it, it's even more oh, sloppy. No. And so I read the first two issues and was like, I can't, like I was enjoying it. And I'm like, I can't. And you know what's even more frustrating is like, they're never gonna be like, this word's really, really good. Let's like have someone else draw it again. Right. Like you can't do that. It'd be kind of no. funny. It'd be funny, but like they paid for it already. Uh, and and Lane would be like, wow. Wow. <laughs> He'd be pissed. I mean like, I'd be too. At the same time, maybe don't do that for your work. Well, well, yeah. I, well, I get I get it done on time. That's why I, that's why I get work. That's right. But if I get it done on time, it's not gonna be 
awesome. No, and it's not going to have like a lot of original art. It's going to be a lot of like. But there are yeah, artists. There's going to be a lot of that, faces you already can see that. somewhere. I know, I know. There are. They some may artists. not be as well known, well, especially because it was it, it was a limited series. Just put it out. Just Why give it can't to... he make Mysterio's globe round? Well, it it's be. like it's like oblong. It's got bumps and crap in it all over the place. Sometimes it's round. You love Trace and Trace a circle for God's sake. <laughs> Go back, go back to when he was Mysterio, because maybe with the symbiote, it's not perfect, and it's like, it's motion, because oh, the circle, I, I think, I, okay, to give him credit, maybe at the, maybe when he gets the suit, because he loses the bubble when he loses the suit, maybe the symbiote is making the bubble. No, see, it's not round. Okay, there. no, yeah, he's just... <laughs>